Welcome to Xar template tutorial lesson number 16. In this Xar Web Designer 7 Premium tutorial, we'll be going over how to create that mouse over state that we created in lesson number 15 into a full navigation menu bar. If you haven't already, go ahead and start a blank new document in Xar Web Designer 7 Premium. And you can either follow along with where I'm at, or you can go to lesson number 15 and follow that tutorial and you'll have the same exact button that I have on screen here. So if you haven't watched lesson number 15, you may want to watch that first, but if you're comfortable with the program, you can follow along with where I'm at right now after creating the mouse over state. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and go to the page and layer gallery. And we're going to lock this panel. And I lock this panel because I like to see what's happening with my layers. You don't have to do that. It's just something that I do by default as a, as a habit when I open the program. So once you do that, let's go ahead and go to File and Preview Web Page. I want to show you what you should have had when you went to lesson number 15. So if you follow along with lesson number 15, you should now have a button that when you place your cursor over it, it changes colors. At the very basic level, that's what you should have right now. So if you do have that and you've correctly filed lesson 15, the next thing you want to do is you want to right click on this button. And you should see an option in there that says create navigation bar. And this is how we're going to create our navigation menu bar. So left click on that and then you'll get a navigation bar properties menu that pops up. And this is where we're going to create our navigation menu. And in the first part of here you'll see where it says orientation. This controls the orientation of our buttons. In the next section justification controls how the text is justified within the button. And the last section settings gives you a few additional settings for editing your navigation menu bar. And also the next section buttons and menus will allow you to add additional menus whether they be the basic menu or a sub menu. So let's get started with creating our navigation menu bar. We're going to go on the buttons and menu sections first. And you'll see that it says home. And since we already have a home button, let's add another button. So you'll see an option down here that says add. If you click add, you can move your navigation bar properties menu over a little bit. You'll see that it says new button. And over here it also says new button. So we can give it another name. We could say maybe products for that page. And maybe you want to add another menu to it. So let's hit add again and we'll name this one services so now we have three different tabs now I don't, I don't know if you can see it here but some of these buttons are longer than the other ones and the first thing I'll do is actually I'll space out the buttons you'll see an option in your settings section that says button spacing and in a button spacing we're going to change that we're going to make it like maybe 10 pixels and don't hit enter or it's going to close this menu out but once you type the 10 pixels in there, just click in a in an area like down here in this gray space. And then that way you don't close the menu. And you'll see that now we have a gap between these buttons. And again, as I said, some of these buttons aren't the same length. So let me, let me give you an example. Let's go ahead and add some more text to the products option. So let's left click that and you'll see that it's highlighted blue. Left click it one more time and we'll, we'll name it products for you and then hit enter and now you'll see that if you look at the home key it's a really odd, odd button because there's a lot of space and there's a big gap there and the reason this is happening is because we have the checkbox in the settings section that says all buttons the same width and so the longest menu you have in your navigation menu bar will make every tab the same length. So the home button is just as long as the products for you tab. And to me that looks kind of unprofessional. So what I'll do is, is I'll go to the settings section in our navigation bar properties and I'll click the button that says all buttons the same width and uncheck it. And when I uncheck that you'll see now that the menu looks a little more professional, a little more organized. You don't have an odd button like the home button was where it's an extra space there. It just looks a lot more normal and a lot more cleaner for, in my opinion. 
but that's preference if you don't want it that way you don't have to you can kind of adjust it to your own preferences and you can also adjust the spacing maybe you want to have five pixels so put enter the number five in there for button spacing then click in a gray area within the buttons and menu area down here the reason I do that is so that it won't close the menu and you'll see that now it's about a five pixel gap between each of these but let's say that you you didn't want to click in a gray space maybe the only thing you need to do was change this to maybe you know eight pixels and then hit enter and that's what will happen if you hit enter while in that particular option it'll close the menu out so you'll have to go back to this navigation menu bar right click it and then you have to hit the option edit navigation bar so you don't go back and look for the option that says create navigation bar you go to edit navigation bar which is the first option left click that and it'll bring the menu back up and you can continue to make the changes that you want to to your website so you now know how to create a navigation menu bar with more more than one tab so let's go ahead and hit OK and see what this looks like if you were to preview it. So go to File, Preview, Web Page. And you'll see now we have the navigation menu bar. And when you place your cursor over any of these tabs, they all highlight blue. So once you create one navigation menu bar, they all will allow you to have the exact same mouse over state, which in this case is the color blue and that's how you make the first part of the navigation menu bar but let's say that you had maybe you needed some additional menus like like a sub menu a sub menu for products might be something like books or toys or you know anything that's related to products maybe you had a sub menu that you need to add I'm gonna show you how to do that next so let's go ahead and close this menu out or the preview state out and let's go ahead and right click on this navigation menu bar and hit navigation bar again and once you we're going to go ahead and create a sub menu for the product section so if you go to the products for you section you'll see like a little plus icon to the left of it and this is how you expand it out to see the additional drop down menu and it'll say click to add menu you're going to double click that and then you'll see a, a thing that says new item and we're gonna name this maybe I don't know we'll name it toys like I said earlier and hit enter and now you have a sub menu for products which would be toys now the option that's beneath it that says double click to add sub menu would add a sub menu for toys and if and so we can maybe say double click on that and maybe say ages 5 to 10 and so now you have a sub menu for toys and if you click the minus button next to toys it'll collapse that sub menu if you if you click it again it'll expand it so these are all the sub menus for toys and if you collapse it you no longer see the sub menus for toys and toys is a sub menu of products and if you click the minus button next to products for you it'll close the sub menu for products for you and you no longer see it if you click the plus button it'll show you the sub menus for toys and then if you see the plus icon that means that you have sub menus for toys and you'll see those sub menus so just anytime you see a plus button that means there's additional menus that are a sub menu of a, a first menu and in this case the, the home button doesn't have a sub menu if you go to it and it'll say double click to add menu so there are cases where you'll have a plus sign but there's no sub menu it's just there so you can expand it to see that you can add a sub menu so now that we've added some sub menus for uh, one sub menu for products for you and a sub menu for toys I'm gonna go ahead and show you that what that looks like if you went to preview mode so go ahead and hit OK close that out and go to file preview web page if we go to products for you you will see now that we have that first sub menu which is toys and then a sub menu of toys is ages 5 to 10 just like what we just created and I think that's about all I'm going to show you for now in this particular tutorial let me see if there's anything else I want to show you right away yeah I think for now that that's all you need to know until you get a little bit more advanced in the program and learn a little bit more how it operates I'm not going to go through all the options in here because this will, that would make for a very long tutorial but now you know how to create your 
not your basic part of your navigation menu bar, which is the home button, the products for you, and the services option. And you know how to create sub menus like the one we created for products for you, which would be like toys, and then for the Pacific age group or whatever it is that you're dealing with. So I hope this tutorial helps you in learning how to create a navigation menu bar. And if you have any questions, please do send us a message on YouTube. I know creating navigation menu bars sometimes can be kind of complicated or confusing. So definitely send us a message if you're having problems with it. And uh, give us a thumbs up if this tutorial was helpful in helping you learn how to create a, a custom navigation menu bar. And also subscribe so you can stay up to date on any new tutorials that we release. Thanks again for viewing this tutorial.